Oh. Oh. Uh, so, one second. Pause. <laughs> I don't know. Cut. Okay. Uh, Chris. Yes. To get away from all of this, you know, craziness in LA and just the clingy girlfriend, where are you yeah. going to escape? Oh. As I'm like, you need to find people and find your tribe. I stay at home. Oh. Um. I, mean, okay. I, I stay at home with my dog a lot, and I cook a lot. That's really mm. therapeutic for me. Um, and then and then doing you know doing comedy and stuff is another That's way right. for me to kind of. Cause you did yeah. stand up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't do something like that. You should no, do it. No, she killed it. She was oh. at the Viper Room. Tell us about the Viper Room. Oh, Viper Room was cool. Um, I got to open for comic Brody Stevens, which was really really mm. neat. Um, I've never been an opener before, so that was a cool experience. Um, it was really, really fun. I had a really mm -hmm. nice time. Uh, it's a fantastic group that's run by this wonderful comedian, Tammy Jo, who really creates a really nice nurturing environment for people. Right. Uh, so she does this Shut the Fuck Up and Laugh show. And she does another show at Comedy Store called Bitch. And <laughs> it's a lot of them are really female-centered shows, which is really, really great because comedy can kind of be a boys club. Okay. So she makes this really great, fun, welcoming environment. Everyone at the Viper Room was so cool. and. Just, I, I should never have been at the Viper Room with my skill set. Like I joked about when we were there, I, I don't play an instrument, I don't sing, I don't do any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So being there was just bizarre and I kind of felt like I didn't belong there. Mm -hmm. um, but because it was this fantastic comedy lineup, it, it was really cool and just a great group of people and everyone kind of went on this fun journey with me as I, I made fun of the Catholic Church a whole bunch, which was nice. And you can like yeah. listen to your audio too about yeah, it on yeah. her page. It's on my website. Which I'll put on my thing when it'll appear right here. <laughs> At Chris Carter. <laughs> can't see it right now. Okay, I mean, you can see it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yay, post! <laughs> <laughs> so, how's your style? Um, I mean, my, your... my whole kind of concept of who I am okay. on stage and in film. Is, uh, is this idea of being a Disney princess with a potty mouth. Where I, I've got these big ass eyes and I, I just look like a, a weird Cupid doll. And horrible things come out of my mouth. Yes. yes. Uh, and which, which you've seen and you can listen to on this link below. Uh, so I typically, I, I focus a lot on being raised Catholic. Um, okay. In my longer sets I'll talk about growing up in the South and just a lot of weird relationship issues I have. Okay. Um, I have I have a hard time sometimes functioning as an adult woman in, in the traditional senses of it of like being like a, a sexy full eyes fully realized right. individual. Okay. And so it's yeah. it's um a lot of observational stuff in my own life, a lot mm -hmm. of religious issues I have. Um, I really gravitate towards towards comedians like like Tina Fey, mm -hmm. Ali Wong. Um, I really like people who can just get up on stage and kind of be naked and vulnerable and awkward yeah. and really gotcha. like revel in that. And that's sure. where I feel like. I do better where I just kind of embrace the weird and I don't try to to be this version of myself that's put together and like has a job and knows what they're doing because I don't. That's such a good I'm flying by the seat I'm of so my pants. I admire you. fart in the wind. <laughs> so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is one of your celebrity crushes? Oh, David Tennant. Nick. Yeah. Yeah, David Tennant. really Tenet. into David Tennant. Ooh. I like him and Idris Elba a lot. So if you had to have like a pickup line to pick him up, what would you say? I would be so such an idiot around him. Oh gosh, because I'm like I'm weirdly obsessed with him. It's it's not cute. Oh. Um. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> is that what you mean? I don't mm. know. Because he's so talented. Because <laughs> that's the most attractive thing about him. I and mean, he's uh. adorable and lanky. And if you watch Doctor Who, he's the 10th Doctor. That's how most people know him. Uh, he was Kilgrave and Jessica Jones. Yeah. And, uh... I, <laughs> this, is, this is all our faces that she'll make. Yeah, this would just be it. We'd just be like... <laughs> <laughs> and then I would just die. Uh, I practice my Scottish dialect by listening to his movies, so maybe that would be my icebreaker, where I'd just be like, I've been working on dialects because of you, and, and then just sound like an absolute twat. Um, <laughs> Aww, I don't know what I would do. That would, or be like, I made my boyfriend cut his hair like yours. That's not creepy. That's not weird. He'd have a restraining order against me so fast. See, even you're uncomfortable. <laughs> Think of how he would feel. Maybe we should move to the next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so this feels like a really welcoming environment. Thank you. <laughs> it's really. You must answer all my questions. <laughs> So if you had to be, I think I've asked you this question before, but I want everyone else to know this. 